Hi, I'm Yuna, and today John, Yanshi, and I are going to talk about how to balance as a percussion section in an orchestra. Play in an orchestra, not only do you have to play what's written on the page, but you also have to balance as a section. This is very important. First, we will play an excerpt from the fourth movement of the Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, not balanced. Okay, so that was not good. This part of the symphony is resembling a traditional Turkish march. This bass drum is too big, and the sound is not appropriate for the music that is being represented. So let's try a smaller bass drum. Better. It is still not articulate enough, so let's try a new beater. The symbols I'm using are the 22-inch classic orchestral made by Zildjian. For this passage, these symbols aren't articulate enough, so let's try symbols that speak more clearly. Awesome! This triangle sounds too clunky and hollow. You want to use a brighter and more brilliant sounding triangle to match the color of the melody and the pickle flute. Good. With all that in mind, let's play again and make sure we're all balanced together as we play. There are also balancing issues while playing loud passages for these instruments. A good musical example for this is the finale of the Tchaikovsky's 4th Symphony. If you are playing the bass drum, make sure that you do not get too loud. It is very exciting, but we need to hear cymbals and triangle and the rest of the orchestra. For cymbals, you can play loud, but make sure you pick a cymbal you are able to control while playing fast crashes. Finally, for triangle, you want to use a slightly bigger triangle than the one we used before. Smaller triangles tend to max out at louder dynamics, so using a bigger triangle will allow you to play loud and still get a good sound out of the instrument. So let's play! <laughs> 